Is it true that Margot Robbie had to undergo years of training to portray Barbie? Margot Robbie looked perfect as Barbie. That's a fact. But not many people know that she has been preparing for this role for quite some time. In fact, she started doing it even before becoming famous, back in the remote corners of Australia. If you want to know exactly how this unprecedented preparation process went, it's easy. Just watch this video until the end. Margot Robbie has been a sensation in Hollywood for a few years now, but with her starring role in the Barbie movie, the name of the Australian actress has become even more prominent. And rightfully so, as the movie about the world's most famous doll surprised everyone with its quality and great storyline. The truth is, Margot Robbie hasn't been preparing for this film for just four, five, or six years. In reality, she has been preparing for it much longer. Since she was a child, when she and her sisters received a dream Barbie house that her mother bought with great effort one Christmas, Margot was greatly inspired by the character, just like millions of girls were inspired by Barbie's independence to grow up and become successful individuals. Literally, Margot Robbie was raised in the Australian countryside, on the Gold Coast, and as she herself said in an interview, her reality for a long time was almost rural, and she was the type of kid who loved to roll around in the mud. The actress also mentioned that from time to time, some spiders would appear at her home, but not just any spiders. They were enormous, almost giant spiders that abound in Australia. This eventually led her to move to Melbourne, a large coastal city in Australia, and it was at this point that she started preparing for the role of Barbie, without even knowing yet that one day she would be playing the doll. During her adolescence and adulthood, she started working to support herself, and that's when the similarities with Barbie began. Margot Robbie worked in various different jobs before becoming famous, such as a clothing saleswoman, a salesperson in a surf shop, a sandwich artist at Subway, among other things. Of course, Margot didn't pursue all the professions Barbie has had, considering that over 64 years, the world's most famous doll has certainly accumulated quite a few different careers. And even though Robbie had several different jobs, there were still far fewer than the 180 different careers Barbie has had throughout her life. But the independent behavior, always seeking new activities, is a common point between Margot and Barbie, and that was already preparing her for the role that would someday further consecrate her. After reaching a phase in her career where she had become a recognized and talented actress, Margot Robbie produced and starred in a film called I, Tanya, where she portrayed a real-life figure skater. In order to perform in the movie, Margot had to undergo skating training so that not all scenes had to be done by a stunt double. She had to learn specific movements for the role, which she later reused when preparing for the film Birds of Prey, where there is also a scene involving roller skates. And yes, one is ice skating, and the other is rollerblading, but the principle of balance remains the same. Interestingly, Margot had no idea that she was actually preparing herself to play Barbie, especially the scene where she and Ken roller skate together. In fact, it was this scene that was the first to be leaked by fans who caught the duo filming near Los Angeles Beach. What's interesting about Margot's preparation is that first, she went through training for I, Tanya, which helped her with her role as Harley Quinn. And then she had to do some additional training, which also aided in her preparation for the role of Barbie. In 2016, Mattel launched an innovative line of Barbie dolls, featuring Barbie with new body shapes, various skin tones, and many new eye colors. According to the company's team, the objective was to provide as many alternatives as possible so that children could choose from a wide range of options and select the one they identified with the most. But in Margot's case, despite there being 12 different Barbies in the movie, she would be portraying the original Barbie. This version of the doll had very specific details, which is why Margot was such a perfect fit for the role. This was because the actress's hair color and body shape aligned well with the model the film's production was seeking. It would help utilize all the costume pieces planned for the movie. Even so, Margot thought she could further improve and subjected herself to a series of physical exercises and training to get her body as close as possible to what the film envisioned. She trained really hard and managed to reach the standard the team believed would be ideal for achieving perfect filming results. Additionally, another training was required so that Margot, along with several other actors in the film, could perform the party and dance choreographies within the Barbie movie, making the production even more fun and dynamic. Margot had to rehearse all the dance steps extensively, and undoubtedly, this was a really cool and important part of her preparation to play Barbie. We'll still talk about some of the preparations and training Robbie had to undergo to play the most glamorous doll of all. If you admire the actress's work or love Barbie, drop a comment below with hashtag Margot so we can know. Another aspect that was part of Margot's training and preparation to play Barbie was a determination that came from the film's director, Greta Gerwig. The director called on all the women involved in acting, 
production and other departments of the film for a profound interaction exercise aimed at strengthening the bonds and camaraderie among all the women involved in the movie, including Margot. Greta called on everyone to participate in a girls' pajama night. The event took place before the start of filming, and it wasn't just any pajama night. A special space was reserved at the Claridge's Hotel in London and featured the presence of all 12 Barbies from the film, along with many other women working in makeup, costume, and other production areas. Two kins, Scott Evans and Nkuri Gatwa, were allowed to join the party briefly, but they couldn't stay overnight. They only participated in the games. The other kins joined via video call, saying hi and congratulating all the girls for the night they were having. This moment was essential to prepare the spirits for the film and strengthen the teamwork among all involved. Margot Robbie even said that on this day, she discovered how competitive America Ferreira was, but it was great to see how committed she was to everything she did. Additionally, as a form of preparation, Margot and her husband, Tom Ackerley, organized movie nights during the film's production to encourage interaction and create a bond that served as training for smoother work processes. Of course, this also helped Margot herself prepare and get to know each person involved in the creative process of the first Barbie live-action movie better. Robbie also needed to train and mentally prepare herself for the challenge of portraying the ultimate symbol of femininity for children. To better prepare for playing Barbie, Margot said she always thought about cute and tiny animals before starting filming. Her intention was to feel as light as possible for the scenes. People she worked with knew about this, and they arranged a moment of interaction with several adorable puppies to aid in this preparation and mental training. Even Ken himself, Brian Gosling, also took part in this moment with the adorable animals. However, even after applying this technique involving puppies, Margot felt that her performance still wasn't meeting her desired expectations. So, she turned to another method of mental and psychological training for moments of great responsibility and tension. According to the actress, her performance improved after she started applying introspection techniques. Introspection is a process that requires a profound level of concentration, especially regarding past experiences. To train for effective introspection, Margot had to observe the contents of her own mental state. This is a very deep psychological process that demands significant effort and, above all, meditation. And it was this practice that helped the actress develop her Barbie role effectively. The idea that Barbie was a symbol of perfection has existed since the doll's creation in 1959. However, in recent years, Mattel has tried to change this perception, aiming to humanize the doll. As a result, the design of Barbie's feet and some models was altered to make them look more human, and even some Barbies now have articulated ankles. With this in mind, Margot had to film the iconic scene where her heels do not touch the ground, symbolizing the perfection of the doll in Barbie Land. To shoot that scene, Margot Robbie required a lot of preparation and training because she didn't want anyone else, like a stunt double, to perform that scene. As she mentions herself, having taken ballet classes during her childhood was very helpful in achieving this. Additionally, she relied on a support bar to feel more secure while walking. To finalize the scene, it took eight takes until the process was completely finished. But after much effort, from start to finish, the entire scene was exclusively performed by the movie's protagonist after extensive preparation. By the eighth take, I'm sure the front of her foot, where she needed to balance, must have been quite sore. That's everything we could discover about how Margot Robbie prepared for the role of Barbie. Comment below what you think of all this training and preparation. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. Until next time, bye bye!